If you walk up to me one day and ask, "Hey, can I borrow some money from you?" I may ask you, "How much do you want?" and you say 10 rupees. I say, "Sure. You can keep the 10 rupees. In fact, you can keep it for a year, for a year." So you get to keep it for an entire year with you. But when you give it back to me, when you give this 10 rupees back, I want something from you. I want you to give me an extra 2 rupees. So I want you to give me a total of 12 rupees. Now this is what I ask from you. So the time that passes in between is an entire year. So now you ask me, "Hey, I took 10 rupees from you. I'll give you back 10 rupees. Why do you want two more rupees?" And I say, "Hey, you kept my money for an entire year." And because I let you do that, you give me two rupees extra. Now this extra money that I charge you for keeping my money for an entire year has a name, and that's what we call interest. Interest. Maybe we should write that in green. Interest. Now, if you think about it, this is kind of like profit. You already know what profit is. If I buy something for ten rupees and then sell that same thing for ten plus two rupees, so in other words, twelve rupees, then I've made a two rupee profit. But if I decide that I don't want to buy anything, I'll just sell the money itself. So I I give you ten rupees directly and then ask you to give me back twelve rupees. So that extra two rupees is what we call interest. So it's kind of like the profit you make by selling money directly, if if that makes sense. So this two rupees is the interest. If you look at this one over here, the original money that you borrowed that also has a name. So we call this the principal, P R I N C I P A L, principal, principal. So this is just another way. This is just a big way to say the money you borrowed, the money you borrowed, originally, the money you borrowed. And interest is just another, you know, serious sounding way to say extra money you should give. Extra money that you need to give on top of whatever money you borrowed. So you have the principal, the original money you borrowed. You have the interest, which is the extra money you 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 you're giving. So if you add both of them, you'll give the you'll get the total amount that you should pay. So I'm gonna write that over here. The principal, principal, plus the interest, plus interest, will give me my total, total amount. I'm gonna call it the total amount that I should pay. And in this case, you can see that that is ten plus two equals twelve plus two equals twelve. Now sometimes we get lazy; we don't really say total amount. We just like uh, uh, don't don't say total at all. We just say that's the amount you should pay. 